the XWA Live World Tour rolls on. We're here in Mobile, Alabama for what is going to be a heated grudge match in the ongoing power struggle within the XWA's Diamond Division. And making her way out onto the stage here for tonight's contest, the enforcer of Tyson Blackheart's Blood Diamonds. This is Arlene Driver, who in fact was the very first recruit, if you will, that was picked out by the Red Devil to carry out his uh, agenda, if you will, within the Diamond Division. That, of course, now also includes the likes of Cordelia, the mysterious entity, and their ringleader, Blackheart's own personal liaison, Alexia Leone. And of course, under Leone's leadership, this trio has become a ruthless and dominant force within the Diamond Division, which is certainly saying something because there are plenty of those running around the women's division of the XWA. As Driver drinking in the jeers of this Alabama crowd, her opponent has certainly got a bone or a couple of bones to pick with the strong woman. This, of course, is Madison Starr. Let's turn the clock back here to XWA Ambition. It was a six-woman tag team match between the team of Starr her best friend Kamiko and Sonya Robbins taking on the Blood Diamonds in mass. In the later portions of this matchup, Arlene Driver put Madison Starr through a table. And that, in effect, took her out of the equation and out of action for quite some time. Starr, of course, resurfaced over in Japan wrestling for the View Japan Pro Wrestling Women's Division. And has made her way stateside yet again with her sights set firmly on a order and a measure of payback here tonight against Arlene Driver. Always in high spirits is Madison Starr, but I can tell you right now, this match is not going to stay pretty very long. As the ref calls for the bell, Arlene Driver calls for Madison Starr, center of the ring, and the native of Dallas, Texas obliges, and we kick things off here with a strike battle. They tie up, and Driver establishing her power, just pushing down. Madison Starr back into the corner, delivering those right hands, backs her up into the corner again, and continues this punishment, but now wait a second, Madison Starr reverses the tables here, and answers back the barrage of punches with a series of kicks, now what Starr got planned? How about a stomp right to the chest, measuring the shot? And Madison Starr running on full adrenaline. Like I said, she wanted this match more than anything in the world. She wanted this opportunity to get payback on Arlene Driver. And now it appears that the native of Dallas has gone low and focusing on the knees, the legs of Driver. Certainly smart strategy when you're going up against a larger and stronger opponent to take one wheel or both wheels right out of them. As the old saying goes, everyone is the same size when they're on the ground. 
But wait a second, Driver, quick arm drag, takedown, counter, and uses the good knee right into the face of Madison Star. And again, driving the knee into the temple, right into the skull of Star. Amateur style double leg takedown there by Driver, who's flexing on this Alabama crowd. And now Driver using the power advantage by way of a power slam. You can't get more powerful than that. And Star having to regroup. Once again, Arlene Driver. Wait, wait a second. Unbelievable athleticism. She caught Driver off guard there. Her uh, taunts backfired. And now Star. Wow. A barrage of drop kicks there. In the corner. And Madison Star has certainly learned her lessons well over in Japan, as I said earlier. As she delivers that series of kicks and a first cover of the match here. Hooking the leg and only a two count. But an amazing display of striking by Star. As I was alluding to, she's wrestled in the women's division of View Japan the past several months, as well as trained at the legendary Togo Dojo in Tokyo. The same dojo that has brought us talent, such as the current GWGP women's champion, Suki Nobu. But a little overzealous there is Star on the attempt at the Hurricane Rana. And Arlie Driver makes her pay with that choke slam. Vintage Driver, is it enough for the win? No, only a two count, two and a half at best. But just enough to swing the momentum back into Driver's favor. And she follows up with a deep back suplex the back of Madison Star's neck bouncing off of the canvas and speaking of bouncing off of the canvas in a powerbomb position here is Star and no our lead driver opts to go with a variation of a snake eyes Onto the top turnbuckle and then a power bomb onto the downed Madison Star and oh god. Driver in the corner calling up Star and Oh wow. Close call there. I mean still a devastating maneuver, but I thought for sure that driver was gonna go for that close line from hell. But instead, she opts for the running STO, follows up with a chicken wing face buster, and oh my goodness. Now she nails the clothesline from hell. And even after the priming from the offensive onslaught that preceded that lariat, Madison Star is still able to get the shoulder up at two but now she's eating some shots to the gut one to the face and a bill tossing star across the ring and driver follows up with a big boot driver firmly in control on the top turnbuckle but no no score on the elbow drop. And Madison Star closes in, delivers the European uppercut. And now, Driver is the one who is with her proverbial back against the roll and eating a barrage of punches 
right down onto the forehead. Star now, flipping the tables and diving off of the second rope herself with that knee slam to the face of Arlene Driver. But Driver quickly with the counter. And oh, devastating headbutt right there. Just sent Star crashing to the mat. And no, wait a second. Madison Stark counters the powerbomb into a sunset flip. And only a two count, but that was certainly enough to throw Arlene Driver for a loop. She rolls out of the ring trying to regroup, but Madison Starr is on the follow. I'm not sure who got the worst end of that dive, but Starr is the one who is back to her feet. And a groggy Arlene Driver still dangling off of the barricade. Madison Starr helps her out there. Driving the bottom of her spine into the edge. And follows up with a snap suplex outside of the ring onto that padded floor. It might be padded, but there's not a whole lot of give there. I'll tell you that much. Any superstar in the XWA can attest to that. Referees count to nine. Star back into the ring, but not before adding a little more insurance with a couple of shots on Driver. And now runs in with that side bulldog. Madison Star now going to the top turnbuckle. The high rent district. Once again, but this time, there is no vacancy. Driver gets the knees up as Star dives with that senton. And now, Madison Star just got shell-shocked. Cover. One, two, no. Unbelievable. Madison Star kicks out of shell shock. Arlene Driver beside herself right now. But she's going to have to focus. She's got to find some way to put Star away. Even if her finisher wasn't enough to do the job. It just means you have to hit her harder. And oh. An avalanche exploder suplex might be exactly what the doctor ordered. Actually, it might force a calling of a doctor. And a power bomb to follow up. High impact, high powered moves by Arlene Driver. And just how much punishment can Madison Star withstand here? Driver with Star up again, and this time she delivers the last rites. Another cover. And again, Madison Star. Just too much intestinal fortitude. Perhaps more guts than brains, one could say. Live to fight another day, Star. She eats another lariat. And no, Madison Star will not die. And the frustration on the face of Arlene Driver is visible. Driver with a suplex. And once again, setting up the lifeless carcass of Madison Star for another big move. This time a jumping neck breaker. Well, I say lifeless, but there's certainly just enough life left in Madison Star 
to continue to kick out of everything that Driver has thrown at her. But it might not be enough this time. Driver, with a rare top rope move, connects on the elbow drop. And uh, Arlene Driver once again shows Madison Star the hard way. Alexia Leone certainly got to be pleased at what she's seeing right now as Arlene Driver is attempting to destroy Madison Star the same way that she destroyed the ankle of Star's best friend Kamiko. And another shell shock. That's got to be it. That has got to be it. There is nothing left of Madison Star right now. And our lead driver knows it. She's reveling in this moment. And wait, wait a second. The, the lights in the arena just went dark and... And I have no idea what this could possibly be. Wait a... What? Is that... That's Dollface. What the hell is Dollface doing in the ring? She just popped out of nowhere. Driver attempting to attack Dollface, but I I just don't know what to make of this. Your guess is as good as mine of what's going on here and now. Now she just sits in front of Madison Star and yeah, if I were you, Madison, I would step away as well. She she doesn't do anything to Madison Star, but yet she's single driver out here. And our lead driver rolling out of the ring. Trying to regroup here. Trying realistically to figure out what the hell is going on. And oh god, Dollface just ripped a table from under the ring and uh, this isn't good. This is not good at all. Rolling Arlene Driver into the ring with a table inside of it. It's pretty academic what it is she's got in mind. Oh god. She's not going to... Oh, Oh my goodness, she just set the table on fire. Dollface just set the table on fire. And, and meanwhile, Madison Star is looking on having no clue as to what it is that is happening here. Neither do I. Neither does this entire mobile Alabama crowd. And oh, oh God. Oh my God. Oh my God, no. Are you kidding me? Dollface just put our lead driver through a flaming table. Let me say that again. Through a flaming table. And and this is just this is just absolutely creepy. This is just I I don't I have no idea why it is that Dollface is just systematically exterminated. Our lead driver. But she turns and looks back at Madison Star and and the lights just went out again. And Well, I just don't have any clue what the hell just happened here, but I know that Dollface has disappeared. Our lead driver doesn't know where she is and Madison Star is taking advantage of the situation series of gut shots in the uppercut and now Star will deliver the Stargazer Maddie is certainly not done yet and our lead driver is seeing stars. 
and this match is over. As we look at the replay, it was a hotly contested match for a good portion of it. Here we see Madison Star raining down the classic 10 punch, but an offensive barrage by Arlene Driver left Madison Star laid out. And just when things looked like they were going dark, it just got a whole lot darker. Dollface from out of nowhere, putting Driver through a flaming table and then delivering Madama Arachnia. Driver skull first into the mat and then eats a stargazer and then eats seeing stars and Madison Star with the most unorthodox of assistants overcomes Arlene Driver here tonight a whole lot of questions left to be asked but at this point Madison Star celebrating with this crowd victorious and that's gonna do it for this leg of the XWA live world tour until the next time